Hey gamers, today we're going to be installing Chiaki for Deck onto the Lenovo Legion Go. This software allows you to stream games from your PlayStation 5 down onto your device. Firstly, you're going to want to come to um, this URL. Uh, it is github.com forward slash streetp forward slash Chiaki for Deck forward slash releases. Don't worry, I will copy and paste this down into the description for this video. When you get here, you should see um, the latest version. At the time of this video, it's version 1.6.2. It may be a higher number when you come, but the process should be pretty much the same. And you'll just want to scroll, scroll down a little bit to this assets section. The bit we're most, uh, the, the URL we're interested in, or the file I should say, is chiaki for deck hyphen win underscore x64 hyphen ms ys2 hyphen release dot zip and if you click on that it will download it Now I'm going to open the file. Um, now the, the weird thing is that it's a zip file, but it contains a zipped folder. So we're going to want to double click on this compressed folder called Chiaki for Deck Dash Win. Um, and if I do that correctly, we'll be in the actual uh, a plain file folder. And here we want to then click Extract All. For the purposes of this video, I will in, uh, just inst I will install it down into the C drive. You can choose another folder if you're more organized than I am. So here I would just click C, and then I click Select Folder. Um, I'm not going to do that because I have already installed the software, but that should extract all the files. You'll then want to navigate to where you've extracted the um, the zip file to. So in my case. Because I didn't know about the the folder within a folder, I have to go two le uh, levels deep. So here into Chiaki for Deck Win, and then we're going to look for a file called Chiaki and run that. If you're on the same network as your PlayStation Five, it should automatically find it. Here you can see it's found mine, and it's noticed that it's unregistered. So I'm just going to click on this and it's going to ask for some information here. So first off, I'm going to be doing this for a PS5 console, so make sure that's selected. And then I'm going to go back to my browser, and I have another tab open, and this is, and the URL is psn.flipscreen.games. And um, let me, I'll just copy that, but let me refresh it. So what you would see the first time you're going here, you would just enter your PSN username. So when you when you sign into um, your PlayStation, it's it's kind of like the nickname that gets displayed there. So I'll enter mine, submit, and you'll see it's got this encoded ID, and this is what we need to copy um, into Chiaki. So I'll just copy that, and we'll go back to the Chiaki, Chiaki software. So I've been having a, a pretty torrid time trying to get the password in here. It doesn't seem to want to paste it. So I'm going to click in and I'm going to pop up my um, my keyboard and then I'm going to click back in again. Now you can see here it's got the paste buffer. So just click on this and that's going to come in there and I'm going to leave that there for now. But honestly, the amount of times I've been trying to do that with various methods and it's not been working. So what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to log into my PlayStation and I'll do some things here to, to get a pin. Um, but once I've, I'm, I'm able to join into my PlayStation, I'll show you what I did, what settings you'll need on the PlayStation. So bear with me for a second. I'll pause the video while I'm doing this. OK, so here I've um, done something on the PlayStation 5 to get a pin number generated. I will show this. 
but let me just enter enter the pin number in now. Oh, lovely notifications. Oh. Now this is a short lived pin, so by the time this is up on the internet, it will no longer be valid. Okay, let me just double check that. And if I hit enter now, or rather, if I now click register, and I've now got two registered consoles, I presume you'll just have one. So I'll now so show the sort of thing I did to uh, on the PS5. I'll connect to it now. And we're now on my PS5, so if I step out of this a bit, where are we? So here, my device, and what I do is I come up to the top here for settings, and under users and accounts, no, sorry, under system, I'm going to come down and there should be remote play. So if you haven't done this before, what you'll want to do is enable remote play. And then once that's enabled, you would come to link device. Ah, okay. So on your PlayStation 5, you would link device and that would show you a screen with a pin number. And that's the number you need to enter in um, to Chiaki when you're connecting and you only need to do this once so you've seen that step um, and that should enable you to um, connect to your PlayStation 5. There's another setting I do and I need to find it now. It's, it's basically turning on um, the ability to wake on network. Okay, let me pause and I'll find that. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I've just done a quick Google. So it's in the settings under system and then under power saving. And, and it's lied to me. Ah, sorry, no, it's not. So it's features available in rest mode. And I've got enable turning on PS5 from network. And so all I ever do is I, I put the PS5 to sleep and then whenever I want to play it from the device, it'll, it'll send up a wake up packet, which will then allow it to connect. So I'm also gonna show you a little quality of life uh, change that I did. So I've installed software called Handheld Companion um, I'll put a link to where I, where you can download this from. It's free software. It's really good for providing uh, controller emulation for games outside of Steam if you ever have any issues. It also downloads Reva Statistics Tuner, which allows you to do other performance overlays, which is useful. But it also has a keyboard mapping facility. So if I go to... Um, it's running currently, so I'll just go to go to that. And what I what I did, I think it's under profiles, and come down to the bottom under controller layout. Um, and if I scroll down, what I did is on on this um, section called back grips. I basically changed Y1 and selected the drop-down keyboard and by default the very first keyboard character it, it puts in here is escape. Um, so in Chiaki for deck I think escape it pops up is is the same as the PlayStation keyboard, uh, PlayStation symbol button on, on a controller so that's good. And the second one is um, Y2 and again, I drop down to keyboard and then I, I scrolled down through the various keys that you can have until I got to T. Um, and so I set it to T and that simulates you clicking on a trackpad. So on a PlayStation DualSense, 
if you tap uh, clicked on the um, touchpad section that that would send a T in Chatty for deck so that's worth setting up I would definitely recommend that it, um, now I'll show you one final oops let's see so one thing you can do is when you're in um, Chaki for deck you can switch between full screen and um, reduced screen and I'm going to just close this and it's going to ask me if I want to go into sleep mode so I shall and I'm going to show you a final thing that I do and that is um, let me close all these lots of windows open so the one of the things I do is I add Chiaki to Steam so I've done that but essentially all you would do is you would add a game add a non-Steam game and then you would browse to the location of where you installed Chiaki so in my case that's the C drive Chiaki for deck um, your, yours would just be in Chiaki for deck win um, find the application file here it is Chiaki and then you'd you'd select that and then you'd say add to library once you've done that it appears in your list here and what you want to do is go into the controller symbol and if it if it's um says enable steam input i.e it's you know it's not already enabled on this i would click the button enable steam input and then i would click on gamepad and come up to um community layouts and you can do you can do a search and i'm looking for one it's chiaki for deck by chris dot z ZXZ, I think that is, but essentially it's this one. So you would click on that, and then you would use the green, the green button. So that's A. So let's see, Chucky for deck, and then um, so we've selected that, and then X to apply this layout for Chucky. And you can see it's got Chucky for deck, and that just maps everything beautifully, like um, touch pads, etc. And so then I will trigger I will trigger Chiaki through Steam from that point on. And I'm gonna just hit Y to wake up. So we're just waiting for my PlayStation to wake up. Um, from sleep. At the moment it's saying it's waiting for the PS button on my controller. Okay, so perfect. So what's going to happen here is when it's waiting for that, um, you just do you know double click on it and it'll come up with this console login pin. So I'm going to enter that now, but we'll pause. Okay, so I entered my pin. And I'm now connected to my um, PlayStation 5. I'm just going to make it full screen. And let's show you a little bit of um, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Oh, you can't do that with a touch screen. I always have brain lag figuring out what I need to do. You know, trying to remember I'm actually on a different device. Okay, so let's rejoin the story. So I'm not sure if it's my network at the moment, but there are slight hitches in the gameplay. Um, but I have seen that on my play uh, on 
the PlayStation app. So it could just be, oops. Now here it's it's stuttering a lot. Um, I think that's just a network issue. I have played this extensively, and it is very playable. But you will get issues if there's any sort of network problem. So I won't show any more gameplay than this because I realise I've got to show you some Chiaki settings. So let me just exit out of the game. I'm going to use the PlayStation button. Okay, it's not working for me, but never mind. Um, let me just exit Chiaki and put my PlayStation to sleep. Good, and then I'll show you the settings that I have. So everything's normally by default. So Steam Deck haptics, or hopefully haptics and adaptive triggers. Um, it's in video where what I've done is I, I've put set the resolution to 1080p. At the moment I think it's downscaling that to 800 but I have done something where I have a custom resolution and run it at 1050 so as close to 1080p resolution as possible. Um, frames per second is capped at 60. Now bitrate by default um, isn't 10,000, it's at 15,000, but I've set that to 10,000 for now. I think um, you can experiment with that, with various values, to see what works best for your network. The codec, H265 PS5. Um, on, my, on my Steam Deck OLED, I would pick the HDR version of that. Um, but I'm, I'm not, so I'll just leave it at this. And also... By default, it doesn't come with any hardware decoder, but I think we may as well use um, at least one of these uh, to make sure that we've got a little bit extra grunt making use of the graphics card, I guess, um, to improve the decoding speed. So I've just gone for D3D11VA. Maybe I should check it with Vulkan as well. And I've just set high quality for the render preset. Likewise with audio, um, I think it had, if you know, some people said thirty thousand for this, but I think ten thousand is okay. Um, I don't notice issues too much with stuttering with the sound, um, and that's pretty much all the settings I have on this device. Um, hopefully, I've given you enough information to install this for yourself. As always, if you are struggling, feel free to leave a question in the comments down below and I'll try to deal with them so long as I see them. Um, hopefully this has proved useful for you, and thank you for watching. Talk again soon.